Hi, I'm Pat Thetic from Anti Flag, and you're watching Hardcore Sounds TV. The memo says we gotta watch the facts. Uh, hello, everyone. We are here in Seinäoki, Finland, with Pat from Anti Flag. Hello, host coin for you guys at the moment. Ah, uh, it's great. We got this is our second to last show. We play tonight and then tomorrow in Helsinki, and then we go home. And it's been a long tour, so I'm looking forward to going home. So, how has the tour gone generally? It's been great. Um, we uh, were out with uh, Alexis on Fire, Four Years Strong, and A Ghost of a Thousand, and um, they're all great bands. So it's been a really good tour, and they're good people as well. So that makes it even better. So the chemistry between the bands has been good. Yeah, 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 for sure. We uh, we've done a lot of touring with Alexis. They did uh, a tour with us in the states. We did a tour with them in Canada, and we've done a lot of shows with them. So we've we've been friends for a long time. And then Four Year Strong, we just met on this go. Um, but they're good dudes. They're from uh, the states as well. And then um, at Ghost of a Thousand, we played with them last time we were in Europe, and they did a bunch of shows with us then. So it's just you know just friends out doing some shows, which is good. So your latest album was released to, through Side One Dummy Records. Uh, how has the chemistry between you and the label been so far? Um, it's been good. We uh, we've known the guys from Side One for a long time. We've um, worked with a lot of their bands, doing tours and stuff like that. And uh, there was actually a, t- a point when we were talking about um, Joe Sib, the one of the owners at Side One, managing us. <laughs> And it didn't work out, but we've always wanted to do something with them, and just the timing worked out for this record to uh, release it with Side One. So uh, you have also had the chance to play the new material live on this European tour. Uh, what has been the fans' reactions towards the new material? It's been great, actually. It's uh, it's interesting to it's always interesting to play new stuff, but um, when kids are singing along uh, with the new songs you know it's a great experience you never know whether they're gonna uh, whether they actually have the record yet or whether it's been distributed in this in each territory or whatever but yeah the songs that we've been doing everybody seems to be singing along and having a good time so the songs uh, must be resonating with people in the same way they resonate with us so uh, you are known as a political band uh, have you ever like faced any troubles with the lyrics Um, sure. In uh, in the states, uh, significantly more than we do in other places, um, because a lot of the music that we or a lot of the lyrics that we write are centered towards what's going on in the U.S. Um, yeah, we've had uh, we've had some early on. We had uh, some shows where we had to get escorted out by the police, and we had to. Uh, Yeah, things got pretty ugly. But um, in the last couple of years, things that people usually understand what they're getting now when we come and play a town. Um, whereas early on, people didn't understand what we were about, so they would book a, book us to play, and then not re- then we would get there and and say the things that we are interested in and talk about, and people would become offended by it. So um, it was it was more of a problem in the past. Uh, but now it's um, it's less of a problem just because people are aware of what we're, what they're going to get. So, uh, what's your general opinion about your new president, Barack Obama? Do uh, you think he has done good things while being a president or not? Um, I think he has talked about doing good things, um, but he hasn't achieved any of them yet. So we're still waiting for that to happen. Um, We had a whole discussion the other night about uh, this, and uh, it will. We're hoping that he uh, achieves some of the things that he's been talking about. Um, so far, he hasn't, and yeah, it's it's the same thing with every every person in power. There's a lot of rhetoric and very little action. Yeah. So, um, you know, you, we all you always hope that things are going to be better, but they never really quite get there. So uh, let's discuss a little bit about, that, uh, about the internet in general. Uh, what do you think about sites such as MySpace or Facebook or Twitter? Um, I don't. Re- I, I think they're they're good. I don't. Um, they're not. Uh, they're not the god of the world. I think that uh, the interesting thing about those sites, and and we had them back in the day. We had you know, book your own fucking life and stuff like that. And in websites that where people could come together and talk about music and talk about things that they uh, they like. And it doesn't matter whether it's a coffee shop or a bar or MySpace or Twitter. 
people are connecting and organizing and um, and talking about things that are that are important to them. Now, I would in my world, I would like to think that they're um, organizing to you know to protest and to make social change and things like that because those tools are very effective for the uh, Twitter and MySpace and things like that are are effective uh, tools for that stuff. But, um, yeah, there's also a lot of people who are talking about how cool their hair is, which isn't as interesting to me. So uh, how do you see the future of music and CD sales? Um, I think that CD sales are going to go away. I don't think, I think, but music is change formats all the time. It does, you know, there was records, there was CDs, there were tapes, there were, it's, it's always changing. Um, people in the control of the music industry are always looking for something new to sell to somebody. So when you uh, are always looking for something new, when you change the format, you can sell everything all over again. So, yeah, uh, CDs are going to go away. But music will never go away because people are interested in it. It speaks to people. So the way of selling music and the way of people getting music is always changing but the fact that people always want and are always looking for music is always constant so uh, during your career you have achieved pretty much as a band uh, do you still have like some goals you would like to achieve um my goal right now is to go home <laughs> um, i've been on door a lot this year um uh, There aren't any goals. The the funny thing about playing in a band is that all the things that you think are going to be cool aren't really that cool, and the things that are that you never that you thought were not that cool, like the thing that is the the most important thing is playing a show and just being able to interact with people. And when you're lots of times, you're, people are like, "Oh, you played this huge show and this huge festival." And but at that festival, I was 35 meters away from anybody who was who was listening to the music. So that that it was cool to play the festival, but the actual experience wasn't that much fun. I mean, uh, we've done a couple shows in the last tour and on this tour where people were like right here, and and that is way better, way better for me than uh, playing those huge festivals. But. When I was a little kid, I wanted to play on the huge stage. I didn't want to play to the, you know, yeah. to the 20 people at a in a basement where we were playing. Yeah, but you didn't know the feeling that yeah, yeah, is exactly, like exactly. between. Those. But that's the that's the thing when people are like, well, what are your goals? I'm like, well, the goals that I thought I li- I wanted uh, aren't that interesting, really. What I really want is the the connection. So uh, when you someday decide like to put the band aside and focus into something new or decide just to quit making music yeah. uh, where would you like the band to be known from oh <laughs> i was going to go into the spine are you familiar with spinal tap yeah yeah the movie and he goes uh, when he asks what you would do if you weren't you'd like i'd be a haberdasher <laughs> um what would i like the band to be known for um i'd like the band uh, what we try to do as a band is to offer alternative uh views to what is going on in the world um Every day we're taught to consume. Every day we're taught that um, only love between men and women is the only love that's acceptable. And um, we're taught that uh, violence and militarism is a uh, is is a natural part of the human condition. And you know we have to be violent all the time. And um, and yeah. And what anti flag has always tried to do, and successfully and unsuccessfully, is to say there's other options other than those things. Uh, you know, we don't have to be violent all the time. Warfare is not a natural state of being. Um, people should be able to love whoever they want. It doesn't matter what sex they are. And you, consumerism will not set you free. Um, capitalism will not set you free. These are these are myths that the um, the people in power have uh, have. Uh, promoted forever because it keeps them in power and uh, we're always looking for ways of taking the power away from the powerful and giving it to the people okay so uh, thank you really much for the chat thank and you. good luck for tonight's show uh, anything you want to say as a closer to your European fans um, yeah if you're young go onto that boat and drink a lot of alcohol <laughs> Because we were on it last night, and there are a lot of drunk people on that boat. <laughs> okay, thank you really much. Ciao.